Good morning, everyone. Dr. Vicki here, speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center. Uh, today is Sunday, the... Did I not put the day down? The 13th of October. <laughs> put the day down. Good. Um, the moon is in Aquarius, but we'll move into Pisces at 3.56 p.m. here on the east coast of the U.S. So... Pretty much half the day, moon in Aquarius, and then uh, as the day progresses, moving into Pisces. Both Aquarius and Pisces are very collective signs. The difference is that Aquarius is more of a mental energy, it's an air sign, whereas Pisces is water. And uh, there's this energy of uh, undifferentiation when it goes into Pisces. There's still quite a bit of differentiation. <laughs> with Aquarius. It doesn't matter as much uh, because uh, there's a sense that everybody's equal with Aquarius, but their individuality continues to shine. Once we get into Pisces, it becomes more collective. Look at these beautiful clouds. It's like lace up there. That is the sun coming up. That's why part of the clouds are being illuminated, but it's supposed to be a, a a cloudy and then rainy day and it is cold this morning yes fall has finally fallen <laughs> think over the next couple of days you will notice uh the, the the leaves changing quite a bit there goes charlie <laughs> anyway he's enjoying the colder weather the mother not so much but you know so there's a lot to talk about today actually there's a lot of aspects and most of them are challenging. So it's going to be a um, challenging, it's going to be a challenging, um, energetically challenging day, energetically challenging week. There's a lot of, um, what's the word I want to, I want to, um, desperation. It, it smells of desperation. <laughs> and um, I think most of that desperation, at least here in this, part of the world is coming from um, the idea that we're, you know, we're having a, uh, a presidential election coming up in, uh, is it three weeks now? Something like that. Um, and I, and, you know, just, just so you know, I still see Kamala beating uh, Trump. But, of course, we know that they're not going to take it lying down and they're going to try to do all kinds of things. They're trying to already do all kinds of things. So what I would suggest, and then, of course, the press, which wants to make money, uh, for the most part, um, just makes us get more and more anxious. So we we stay, we, we look at, you know, we're, we're like stuck to the television. What's going to happen? Oh, no, this one said that, this one said that. Ignore all of that. Ignore it all. Ignore it all. That's what I would say. Because it's not going to help you with this energy that's coming up. So let's talk about it. We have, uh, first thing, a square of Mercury to Pluto. Mercury uh, at this point is in, um, in Libra. And um, it is a last quarter. Is it a last quarter? Libra. Yeah, it's a last quarter crisis in consciousness square. So we're already in the ideas of not trusting authority. Okay. It is a, it's a rebellious square, but it is a square where we come to understand the meaning of things. And so we might actually get illuminated through this period. Our minds finally, it like, you might ask, why do they do this? Why did they, why would anybody do that? Why would anybody do this? It may click today. You may understand the pieces come together and you understand why. And then uh, almost immediately afterwards, uh, Mercury moves into Scorpio because the square uh, between Mercury and Pluto are happening in the last degrees of the cardinal signs, Libra for Mercury and, of course, Pluto um, in Capricorn now moving direct, still very, very slowly. Still, when these transpersonal planets change direction, it creates big changes in the outer world. And Pluto especially, especially Pluto coming in the last degrees of Capricorn. This is going to be intensity on steroids. 
the transformation of what we're going to see. And I think what we need to do is, is step back from it. And because these are evolutionary changes and there's, and it's, it's, you can't, it's like, you know, not to bring up, you know, a bad, a bad news or, I mean, just like a bad, this might not be a good thing to, to use as an example, but you know, 30 inches of rain and the, and the, and the, um, the river is, you know, overflowing, you know, 20 feet over its banks. Ain't nothing you're going to do to stop that. You just got to run for the hills, right? So that's a physical, that's a sort of a physical expression of, of what this energy, like the meta, metaphorically that we need to, uh, we need to bear witness to this. We've come here at this time for this. Okay. Um, when, when Mercury moves into Scorpio, our minds become deep and penetrating. Scorpio, Mercury and Scorpio is bottom line energy. Scorpio is bottom line energy and Mercury is answering the question why. And it's interesting because Kamala Harris has her Mercury in Scorpio. And if anyone saw her grilling, um, uh, grilling, uh, what's his name? Um, the big guy, Ugh. the guy we couldn't stand, the guy who helps Trump break all those laws. Barr, <laughs> yeah, him, or Kavanaugh, right? If you see, if you saw her asking questions, that's Pluto in, I mean, that's uh, Mercury in Scorpio, right to the bottom line, right to the truth of the matter, as it were. So that's happening. Now, Mars in Cancer is making a square to Chiron in Aries. And then um, the Sun um, in Libra is opposing uh, Chiron in Aries. So we have a T-square between the Sun and and more. Uh, well, we have a T-square, the Sun opposing Chiron, and then Mars squaring both those ends. The exact square of the Sun to Mars will be happening tomorrow. Um <clears throat> aggressive that's aggressive stuff it could be angry stuff and it's coming from a very wounded place um but that being said chiron isn't just the wound but the bomb to the wound the capacity to heal the wound so we will see it it will be out it will be postulating and we get to treat it right we get to treat it so that all sounds awful, right? But at the end of the day, we get some help as, um, as Jupiter trines um, the sun. Now that can bring healing. It can bring help. It can bring aid. There are those people out there who need help and aid. Of course, those people who were affected by the weather, they will get it. They will get the help and the aid. Things will improve. Although I do think there's another storm brewing in the Gulf, but I haven't checked that. So if you know about that, you can comment or not. Uh, I'll take a look at it. Um, so it's going to be one of those weeks. We have a, f a full moon coming. Uh, you, If you want to know about that full moon, I'm going to be putting out a week ahead forecast a little later today. I'll get into the moon. I'll get into the charts and the like. So if you're interested in the in the astrology of that, that will become available a little bit later today, and then on Wednesday, um, on Ona's channel, we'll be gonna, we're going to we're going to be doing uh, moonshine. We're going to be talking about the moon again, and then on next Saturday, uh, on Ona's channel, uh, we're going to be doing um, Mystic Sisters Live. For those of you who joined us last night, it was great fun. I think it was a good uh, it was a good hour of chit chat and astrology and pondering and uh, I think there was a little laughter as well so um, so that's what's that's what's going on for those of you who are taking my fundamentals of evolutionary astrology that starts this Monday um, seven to nine six consecutive Mondays if you're interested in taking that uh, there are still you can you can still register for that I'll put a link below for that. So that's the story, Morning Glories. I am freezing, so uh, let me see. And I'm standing here in my pajamas. 
Let's see, what, what does it say? What's the temp? It looks like 39. And that's my breath. Okay, great. All right, 39, and I can see my breath. I'm going inside and having a cup of love. All right, let me and me and uh, Michael uh, took a lot of the plants in last night. So now our house is full of plants <laughs> that grew like crazy in the summer. And we bring them in in the winter. It's like <laughs> we're going to have to get a bigger house. All right, take care, everyone. Have yourself a great day. Namaste.